Hey, fourth and fifth grade friends. It's a spoon, not a shovel. It's written by Carolyn Brunner, illustrated by Mark Brunner. In this story, there's a little quiz of about 20 different situations that these animal friends run into. I'm gonna let you help me try to figure out the answers. Are your manners monstrous or marvelous? Here is a quiz to help you find out. Choose the letter of the answer you think is best. Then we'll talk about the correct answer. The first one, when Victor Vulture arrives late at the feast, he should say, A, move it, buzzard. B, excuse me, or C, Martians are green. If you think B, excuse me, then you are correct. Marty Mouse has been saving crumbs for weeks to give to Elmer Elephant for his birthday. Elmer exclaims, Your whiskers are twitching. Rats, that's not what I wanted. Or C, thank you, Marty. If you picked letter C, thank you, Marty, your answer is correct. Carla Kangaroo is playing hide and leap in some bushes. She doesn't see Harold Hyena making mud rabbits and she hops right on top of them. Oh, Carla cries, A, I'm sorry. B, clowns have big red noses. C, you silly hyena, only pigs play in the mud. If you picked A, I'm sorry, then you picked the correct answer. Harold is saddened at the loss of his bunnies, but graciously replies, D, you have big stinky feet. E, that's all right. F, little red cars go beep, beep, beep. If you picked E, that's all right, then your answer is correct. Arvin Anteater is sucking up ants. His friend Arlo ambles up to say hello. Arvin offers the next anthill to Arlo. Arlo moves over promptly and says, A, out of my way, blubber button. B, there's a full moon tonight. C, thank you. If you picked C, thank you, then you are correct. To which Arvin replies, D, your nose is running. E, you're welcome. F, dapper diapers. If you picked E, you're welcome. That is correct. Wolfgang is bringing his friend Lambert home for dinner. Since Lambert has not met the rest of the pack, Wolfgang performs the introductions. He says, brothers, this is Lambert. Then he adds, A, Lambert, this is Howler, Snarler, and Fang. B, aru, C, hubba bubba. If you picked A, Lambert, this is Howler, Snarler, and Fang, the correct, that is the correct answer. Pleased to meet you, Lambert Bleats, and the very hungry wolves pull out the growl. D, mother's red pajamas. E, where's the salt and pepper? F, we're so glad to have you for dinner, Lambert. If you pick letter F, that is correct. Gazing into her sweetheart's eyes while eating an armadillo, Miss Crocodilla Jones does, doesn't notice that she is sitting on her napkin. Where should she have put her napkin? A, on her head, B, in her ear, or C, on her lap. If you pick C, on her lap, that is correct and the polite thing to do. Trevor Tarantula is anxious to begin eating. His mother places a juicy cricket on his plate. Trevor likes to shake salt on his crickets and he is tempted to reach across the table and grab the salt shaker, but Trevor has been taught better. So he instead, he says, A, have you washed my web yet? B, please pass the salt. Or C, hot hula hoops. If you picked 
B, please pass the salt. That is correct. Baby Tina digs into her mashed crickets. Daintily, Mama Tarantula taps on Tina's foreleg. Hold your spoon like a pencil, Tina, she murmurs. Remember, sweetie, A, it's a spoon, not a shovel, B, it's your turn to sleep on the tuffet, or C, you're too young to shave your legs. If you picked A, it's a spoon, not a shovel, that is correct. Which is the name of the story, isn't it? At the dinner table, Walter Warthog's family is spellbound as Walter recounts the tale of his latest narrow escape. Walter takes a big bite of his dinner and continues his story spraying his family with food. What rule did Walter forget? A. Don't step on a crack. B. Never talk with your mouth full. Or C. Keep your eyes closed at night. If you chose B. Never talk with your mouth full. That is correct. The lion family is enjoying a delicious lamb stew. Larry hates to disrupt the meal, but he must leave now for roaring practice. He says, A, lily pads and little frogs. B, nothing. C, please excuse me. If you chose letter C, please excuse me. That is correct. Melissa Mandrell has finished her dessert before the others. She picks up her fork and uses it to scratch her head, then to clean her fingernails. Poor Melissa has forgotten that a fork is only used to A. Dig in the garden B. Throw at the dartboard or C. Pick up your food. If you chose letter C, pick up your food, that is the correct answer. A screech from her mother reminds Melissa that when she is finished, she should D, place her silverware neatly across her plate. E, stand upside down, or F, sneeze seven times. If you chose letter D, place her silverware neatly across her plate, that would be correct. Baby Timmy Snaptooth has his napkin tucked under his chin. When he has swallowed the last juicy morsel, he wipes his hands and mouth on his napkin and places it neatly on the table. Timmy has shown himself to be A. Courteous, thoughtful, and well-trained. B. Finished. Or C. Both A and B. If you chose letter C, both A and B, then you're correct. Cory Cobra has the most exciting news to tell his mother. But when he slithers over, he sees that mother is talking to Mrs. Python. Cory is trying hard to be polite, so he decides to A, hiss. B, eat a rabbit. Or C, wait quietly. If you chose C, wait quietly. That would be correct. Buster Bunny loves to answer the telephone. Usually the calls are for his sister, Bia. Buster says, A, just a moment, please. B, black beetles bite. Or C, bang, bang, bang. If you chose letter A, just a moment, please. That would be correct. Of course, if Bia is out nibbling watercress, Buster politely says, D, she's not here, let us breath. E, Wendy Warblers waddle to Wangs on Wednesday. Or F, I'm sorry, but Bia can't come to the phone right now. Could I take a message? If you chose letter F, I'm sorry, but Bia can't come to the phone right now. Could I take a message? That would be the polite answer. Barney Bull has been polishing his nose ring for hours. But when Hannah Heifer drops all of her daisies in the middle of the road, Barney stops and rumbles. A. Do you need some help? B. Clumsy cow. C. Have you any spare buttermilk? If you chose letter A, do you need some help? That would be the correct answer.
How did you do? Did you choose the right letters? Bravo! You're not alarming. You're charming. Remember, father, mother, daughter, son. Manners are for everyone. So it's a whole lot nicer if everyone would just use their manners. I like how it said father, mother, daughter, son. Manners are for everyone. That would include me too, guys. Everybody, no matter what age, needs to use manners. And I found something really cool. Um, it says, what great manners. Look people in the eye when you speak to them. Listen to others without interrupting. Say please when you request and thank you when you receive. And we saw that a lot in the story. Eat and chew with your mouth closed. That was in the story too, wasn't it? The one that had his mouth open when he had food in it. Ended up spraying his family with his food. Ooh. So he forgot to never talk with your mouth full. Also, say hi or hello when you see someone you know. Hold a door open for others. Say, excuse me, if you need to get by or go in front of someone. Wait your turn politely and patiently without interrupting. Be kind, share, and help others. Cover your coughs and sneezes. And we all know that, that one right now for sure. We've heard that a lot as we don't want to spread our germs. See you next week, guys.